I'm Lita Judge, and I write and illustrate books for young people. Until recently, my art has always taken the form of picture books. But in 2012, I read the novel Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and it steered me toward a very different creative path. Legend has it that Mary began writing Frankenstein in answer to a midnight dare from the poet Lord Byron to write a ghost story. But her novel is no simple ghost story. It is a profound social criticism of its day, and with it, Mary invented the genre of science fiction. I had my doubts that a dare could be the actual inspiration to a novel so iconic and relevant it remains in print 200 years after its creation. When I learned that Mary had been a pregnant teenage runaway leading up to the time of creating Frankenstein, I read everything I could find about her. I knew I wanted to write an origin story about how she created her work, but I still had many unanswered questions, and I traveled to England to find out more. I explored historically intact neighborhoods near her childhood home of Holborn and visited the churchyard where her mother, Mary Wollstonecraft, lay buried. Two years before writing Frankenstein, Mary had fallen in love with a married man, Percy Bysshe Shelley. He had swept into her life when she was 16 and within weeks convinced her to run away with him. To learn more details of her elopement with Shelley, I met with Dr. Bruce Barker Benfield at the Bodleian Library in Oxford where Mary and Percy's journals are housed. I was also fortunate to see Mary's original draft of Frankenstein. His limbs were in proportion, and I had selected his features as handsome. And then she makes a blot on the word handsome. So she, she herself first rewrites the word handsome in the margin like that. That's Mary making the correction. And then, then the word is repeated, handsome, great God. Um, um, <laughs> and then Percy comes along and crosses out handsome and writes beautiful, uh, which is much more sinister somehow. The young couple supported each other's writing but their life together was incredibly difficult. Society reviled Mary and Percy for their scandalous relationship, and Percy's poetic genius was tinged with madness. On returning home, I had more material than I could ever imagine. I had hundreds of sketches and ideas to work from. The next step was a lot of trial and error and experimenting over the course of a year to find the right form to convey her remarkable story. I finally decided to create a visual novel, told in free verse with a full bleed illustration on every page, so that words and pictures could work together to create the emotional fabric of this story. The artwork itself required more experimenting. I've always used traditional painting methods in my previous work. I love the musical quality to the line that results when the hand holding a brush guides paint into water. I love the discipline of drawing that watercolor requires, and then the spirit of abandoning all plans in order to embrace the accidental and poetic qualities of water meeting pigment. But for these paintings, I wanted an eerie, gritty quality that meant I needed to go a step beyond what I could do with paint. After completing a watercolor, I'd scan it into my computer and enhance the art with digital techniques. That allowed me to find the way to separate the real world of Mary's life with the imagined world unfolding in her mind as she created Frankenstein. For the scenes depicting her imagination, I used additional layers and distortion to enrich and enhance the illustrations of her interior world. There are also a lot of ghostly images in this book. In the matter of just a few years, Mary lost almost everyone she loved. I wanted to convey how all these deaths impacted her work. She was writing a book which carried a theme of life created from death. The digital brushes I created allowed me to build up that atmosphere. In the end, the book took more than five years to create. While working on it, Mary Shelley grew from a shadowy figure of the past to a force that felt very present in my studio. I am deeply grateful for the experience of writing and illustrating this book.